Today's book is being read with permission from Simon and Schuster. I'm back to share one more Kentucky Bluegrass Award book with you so that we are ready to vote. Now, if you watched my last video, then you'll know that I started by reviewing all of the books that we have read together on the list. We read Different Same. We read Giraffe Problems. We read The Itchy Book. We read Misunderstood Shark. We read Not Sue Me. In my previous video, I read Shark Lady. We also read Thank You, Amu. We Don't Eat Our Classmates. And What If. But today, number 10, we're going to read What Do They Do With All That Poo? Yes, boys and girls, I'm reading a book about poop today. So I hope that you are ready for that. Ta-da! Here is our book. This book is by Jane Kurtz and is illustrated by Allison Black. Oh, now you know how I feel about end papers and books. And this one is no exception. Oop. This looks like a whole shelf of poop in jars. That's weird. Well, I mean, I think it's weird, but maybe once we read the book, it'll make some more sense. Oh, do you see all these monkeys? What are they playing with? Oh my goodness. At zoo after zoo, the animals chew. And then... They poo. Giraffe poop looks like marble as it drops a long, long way. Panda poo is full of bamboo. Pandas eat and poop all day. A hippo sprays a shower with its flipping, flapping tail. To weigh each day of an elephant's poo, you would need a sturdy scale. Rhinos can communicate through piles and piles of scat. A lion sometimes buries poo, just like any other cat. Sloths creep down from trees to poop, but only once a week. A penguin shoots its poo out in a fishy smelling streak. A wombat's poo is cube shaped, so it isn't very rolly. Some snakes poop only once a year. They digest their food slowly. Hyenas crunch up lots of bones. That's why their poop is white. Bat poop has undigested bugs. Bats poop all day and night. So, what do zoos do with all that poo? They sweep it and hose it and toss it each day. A lot goes in dumpsters to be trucked away. They send some to vets and to scientists too. Then zoo poop is studied to help out the zoo. They pile some in towers and toss it with rakes. It soon will be compost for gardeners to take. First worms like to munch it. Their poop is so teeny. Then worm poop plus zoo poop grows perfect zucchini. They even make paper from elephant poo. Zoo poop paper's pretty, not smelly. It's true. 
Whoa! Look! Yikes! Duck! That monkey at the zoo just threw its poo at you! Wow, boys and girls. You know what? I never thought that I was ever going to learn that much about poop ever in my life. But I hope that you enjoyed learning about it. All those animals, I, I just had never thought about those things. So, I hope that you have enjoyed getting to read one more KBA book. Your teachers will be sending out a link to a Google form where you can pick the book that was your favorite from our KBA list for this year. And then I'll submit your vote and we'll find out sometime in May who the winner was. Boys and girls from all over the state of Kentucky right now are doing the very same thing that you are during NTI. They are voting for their favorite. So. I hope you have a great day. Join me next time for another book.